Dios. The Sith Warrior. A crisis looms on Zeos, a major seat of Imperial power. Lord Lana Benico, now the Sith Minister of Intelligence, has discovered that the former Sith Emperor, Vish-8, has launched a plot to eradicate all life on the planet. She reaches out to her old ally, Lord Dariethor, the former Emperor's Wrath, as her only hope to defeat his old master. Lana, what's going on? Where are you? Lord Wrath, it's time. You must confront him. Our former Emperor, Vishyad, he's... I don't care what they tell you. Assume they're lying and deal with them. He's here. Vishyad's presence. Here on Zyast. He's taking over this outpost, controlling soldiers and Sith, using them to murder anyone he can. Hold them off. I'm on my way. Good, thank you. I'm sending coordinates. We'll hold this bunker as long as we can, but you must hurry or... Lana, can you read me? Lana. Zyost. Imperial military forces on Zyost have ceased responding to orbital comm signals. Reports indicate the military has turned on the civilian populace. An Imperial military outpost may yield more information. A transport is available for departure. on the Yavin moon that I would devour you last, and yet here you are, so impatient. When you've lived as long as I have, patience comes far more easily. But that's neither here nor there. I must say, I'm glad you're here. You'll bear witness to a world's end if you survive long enough. He's gone. I can... I can finally... More of you already. I suppose I should be flattered. So you've arrived. Good. There's much to be done. I take it the Republic knows what's happening already? The SAS knows, at the very least. Difficult to say beyond that. Everything's happened so fast. The Jedi you fought belong to the Sixth Line. SAS commandos who follow their own addendum to the Jedi Code, hence the name. There is no contemplation. There is only duty. A great point of view, so long as they're working for you. Pardon the interruption. I sent a probe droid to look into that crash shuttle, Minister Benico. It's empty. This is Agent Rain Kovach. He's been something of a rising star in Sith intelligence here on Zyost. I'd like to hear more about these Jedi. Do we know what they were up to here? You can thank our friend Theron Shan for that. 
The sixth line arrived when Vichy had started making moves. It's not clear yet how Agent Shaw knew to send them, but we do know he's responsible. As you've witnessed, Vichyat is taking hold of an increasing number of soldiers and Sith. His goal continues to be the accumulation of power. Agent. The dark side is strong on Zyost. Using the outpost's resources, our former Emperor can massacre the defenseless to fuel him. The more powerful he becomes, the more people he can control. He will keep on killing until nothing's left. Yes, I'm on my way. I'm needed everywhere all at once. I've already lingered too long. Agent Kovach has a plan to help stem the bloodshed. It's an honor, my lord. Here's what I have in mind. The outpost armory is wide open right now. It's where the possessed have been getting their firepower. It needs to be placed on lockdown. That won't be enough to stop him. No, it won't. But we have to start somewhere. I'll go out ahead. Be your eyes and ears. You sure cleared a path out there. That's good. But it's bad, too. Each time a pawn's killed, Vitiate gets a little bit stronger. Not as much as when they kill, but well, that's what Minister Benico says anyway. So, we have to stop them without killing them. Or we destroy Vitiate. Not that anyone seems to know how to do that. Commander. I like this one. Strong-willed. Not that it will save her. Or anyone on this world. There was a time I took pride in being your wrath. Look at what you've become. You're just another madman. You are a blunt instrument. Your greatest achievement has been to bludgeon in my name. Any judgment you render is an amusement at best. When this world turns to red, and you choke on torrents of blood. Remember that this was your chance to flee. A chance I gave! There is no contemplation. There is only duty. We're wasting time here. The armory's safe. You go ahead. I'll be close behind. I can confirm it. The defenses are down. Between those weapons and the armory, a lot of the killing power is out of their hands now. Should be able to start evacuation efforts as well. The fewer potential targets on Zyast, the better. The Emperor's Wrath, here on Zyos now, what are the odds? I can't say I expected to find you here. You know this person? Theron Shan, S.I.S. Really? But if you came here to save your sixth line, you're too late. If you know what's going on here, Theron, then you know it has to stop. Let's work together. Sure. All we need to do is figure out how to knock out a guy no one can touch. So I take it you don't have any ideas. I do know we have to try something. That's about it. The way things are out there, I can't believe I even made it this far. As soon as I crash landed, the Emperor's puppets started coming for my shuttle, just like that. Maybe figured on some easy kills inside. Did the only thing I could think of. Rig the ship to overload, fry everything in and around it. Tried to shield myself, but still scrambled half my implants. And that stopped the attack. They went down, yeah. Some of them got back up, but they seemed out of it. Not possessed. Dazed. Intrusion! Vitiate's pawns! I have a thought. Be ready for anything. That was a... a nightmare. What? 
It's you. My lord, I, I am... I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Is that really necessary? They would eventually become possessed again. You got a point, I guess. So now we know. Shock them unconscious and the tie is severed. For a while, at least. Get enough of them hard enough and they'll be out for a good long while. Yeah, but how do we do that? I, I have some ideas. I need to consult the new Adasta municipal systems. You gonna need a hand with that? Some backup? No. I'll be in touch. Well, he seems confident. Is he any good? Lana vouches for him. Lana Benico, Minister of Sith Intelligence. <laughs> Who'd have thought it, right? When I met her on Manan, she was in over her head. Seemed to be. I know what you mean. She's not always what you'd call direct. You don't have to tell me. My bruises still have bruises thanks to her little deception on Rishi. Still, who am I to talk? I should never have sent my team here. I made a bad situation worse, and now... And now I've got a priority holocaust. Great. You've been busy, Agent Sean. Chancellor. An off-the-books mission to Zyost. A secret team of Jedi that... I don't even know where to start with you about them. Everything's happened so fast, you don't realize... No, I do realize. I realize that you declined to inform me of a prime opportunity to cripple the Empire and face the Emperor head-on. We're taking advantage of the chaos on Zyost, starting with New Adasta. I expect your cooperation. Wait, please, before you send the order... You don't seem to understand, Agent Sean. There's nothing to argue. Our ships are in orbit. The invasion's already begun. I tried to reach you, to tell you. This won't end well. The time for hand-wringing ended when you shut down the Orbital Defense Command Center, Agent. With respect, you haven't seen what I have on the ground. The power the Emperor holds. I'm aware, Agent. Now, if you have a report on Sith Intelligence or the SIS, we can talk. But you will not tell me how to fight a war. Damn. This is bad. That is one way of putting it. I take it you heard all that. Or enough of it. You know what happens to traitors. Wait! You, you can't! You need me. You need my help. I know I've made things worse. More innocents are dying because of me, and that's... Please. Let me help you. This isn't over. No. No, I wouldn't think so. Okay, I've placed the dampeners on manual. I'll be controlling them while you alter the makeup of the grid. Once it's all set, we'll put a shock into every living thing in New Adasta. Then, we'll figure out what's next. That's one down. I've got you covered. I finally heard from Agent Kovach. He says you're working together on a solution. More and more of our forces have fallen to Vitiate. It's spreading beyond the city now, along with the war. There must be an end to this. Excuse me. My attention is needed elsewhere. Everywhere. Okay, that's enough. Any more, and it's the dampeners that will take the brunt of the search. All that's left is to disable the system failsafe. Maybe you don't want to hear this. I have to say it, though. I respect Lana Benico. Sincerely. But the Empire enslaves and slaughters innocent people every day. And I respect common decency more. I hope you understand. What was that thing? We've been calling them monoliths. I promise I wasn't eavesdropping. Just wanted to warn you. We've seen several of those creatures appearing throughout New Adasta. They're made from Sith alchemy, a sign of Vitiate's growing power. Extremely strong, next to impossible to kill. The one you just defeated is the smallest we've come across. I think you were eavesdropping. I think you can't stop thinking about me. I would hope you're joking, except this is hardly the time for it. And by the way, do look behind you. Plan 
Time's over. Scrapped. Some giant thing tore through a junction. Caused an electrical surge. Dampeners are shot. And you expect me to take your word for it? What's your angle, Kovac? I want this nightmare to end. That's my angle. Agent report. It won't work, Minister. I failed. Yes, you did fail. And for the last time. What have you done? Agent Kovach was a valued asset. Your incompetence allowed the Republic to place a spy right under your nose. He was working for Suresh. I... but... I... no... no, how could I have been so blind? Lana, we still have a problem to solve. Yes, of course. And I may have found a solution. I doubt you'll like it. I'm listening. War has broken out across the globe. Our former Emperor, however, has limited his involvement to the area around New Adasta, near you. I don't think it's a coincidence. It's possible he isn't as strong as he's been letting on. It's possible he's worried about what you could do. It was always going to lead to this. Let him come for me. I'm going to suggest something a little more proactive, actually. Get all of his pawns, every last soldier, Jedi and Sith, to stop their slaughter and chase you into the heart of New Adasta. You must make Vishyad want to kill you, now. Before we go ahead with this, you and I should talk in person. I'll see you shortly. You've made it. Good. Time is short. So is reliable assistance. As Agent Kovach is no longer in the picture, I've taken the liberty of reaching out to someone I hope we can trust a little bit better. Are you in position? Yeah, but this setup isn't anything like what you described. So what you're saying is you can't figure it out? Don't get all... I'll figure it out. We're about to begin, so that would be nice. What exactly are we about to begin, Lana? You're going to make Fishet angry. So angry that he'll place all his attention on killing you. When the time comes, you'll lead him to an electrostatic weapon stored here, in the heart of New Adasta. It's meant to be a last resort against major civil uprisings, but Theron's modifying it to be non-lethal. With the reduced charge, its radius of impact will diminish. Fine. Let's get started. Yes, let's. superiority. You hack away at the defenseless like a gleeful child. And here I stand, your own wrath in defiance of your plans, and you do nothing. Use whatever reason you want, but I know the truth. You are a coward. I think that did it. I have to go now. There's much to be done. Too much. I shouldn't have come here, truth be told. No need to linger on my account. I'll get it done. I imagine you will. May the Force serve you well. You think I don't know what you're doing? Of course I know. My righteous wrath. I know everything. And I will enjoy watching you fail. <laughs> Go ahead. Kill them. Kill the Jedi. If you let them live, they will just keep murdering in my name. Don't hesitate. Kill them. <laughs> I won't mind. And neither will your Republic friend. What are you doing? This is not the act of a proper Sith Lord.
That's it. Got it set for as big a non-lethal burst as we can manage. Should be enough to zap anyone in range into a nice, long, involuntary nap. Should be. Hard to come up with a one-size-fits-all solution. A lot of guesswork involved. Wish there was some way we could do a test run. They've got to be closing in. Then come on, we need to be shielded. Okay, we should wait until they're good and close. I came across two of your team, Theron. And? I gave them a shock when I left. They were still out. Good, thanks. Let's just hope that they don't end up in the Emperor's control as soon as they wake up. Okay, here comes the Puppet Brigade. Fingers crossed. Closest, took the biggest hit. Still alive. We did it. Let's just hope we got all of them. We should call Lana now, see if she has a plan for what's next. I have a better idea. Master Suro. No. Watching you believe you have a chance. It's amused me. Now, this whole charade is pathetic. Now, how do you wish to die? In combat? Or on your knees? Go away, little Sith. This has nothing to do with your friends. This is you and I. No matter how powerful you are, I'll never fall to you. Confident. To the end. Everything, every life, every life he took, I took, it's all I can see anymore. I'm a monster. It's not true. You'll be okay. I'll take you to Tython. The Jedi will help you restore your mind and make you whole again. And then she'll be no good to us. We need to understand the connection Bishop established with this Jedi so we can stop it or exploit it. Yeah, and let me guess, the process is invasive. Hasn't she been through enough? We've bought ourselves some time, that's all. We can't risk the fate of the galaxy just to assuage your guilt. You want to take her brain apart and you don't even know if you'll find anything. We have to try. He's never leaving. I'm going to hear him forever. could have saved her. She's at peace now. You may have killed us all. This is your mess now. I'm... I'm gone. I suppose we can be grateful that we managed some manner of progress. You know, Vishad gave up on trying to take control of me some time ago. Perhaps he's not as powerful as we were led to believe. Still, he is more than formidable. We've only stopped him temporarily and war still rages. We have much to do. 
I just ended a holo call with Darth Ma. He would very much like to speak with you. Darth Ma, you wanted a word. I couldn't make that out. Could you repeat? I'm curious. Do you really believe you've accomplished anything here? What do you think you've stopped? I know how powerful you've become. But if I do nothing, what good am I? Indeed. What good are you? It is a question I have asked myself. And have finally answered. I have decided that life is more interesting with you in it. If you wish to keep railing against me, then so be it. Your interference changes nothing. When I am finished here, when every life on this world has been exhausted, I want you to be alive, to know that I succeeded. Goodbye. Take it you've heard about Zyost. I saw it for myself. It was a blur. We tried to evacuate as many as we could. Considering so much was out of control, I'd say we did all right. But Vitiate is stronger now. Sith intelligence is in complete disarray. It's all coming apart. The weight of the Empire doesn't rest on your shoulders alone, Lana. I have to learn from this, from my mistakes. But I don't intend to wallow, if that's your concern. When Darth Arcus first asked for my counsel, I considered turning him down. I wanted understanding, not a place in the power structure. But that's where I am. I don't take the responsibility lightly. Whatever comes my way, I will deal with it. I've seen what you're capable of. I know you won't disappoint. Thank you, my lord. Especially after Zyos. Putting an end to Vichit's threat feels like an impossible task. I don't believe it truly is impossible. Even if it were, we have to try. Is that optimism? It would appear so. Imagine that. Well, the Republic are licking their wounds, same as us. But they aren't relenting. And they're hardly our only concern. I suppose I should go about looking after the security of the Sith Empire. Unless there was anything else. If you need me, I'll be around. I know. May the Force ever serve you.